الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The tafakkur and the contemplation to keep the madad of the shaykh is that to always see with your spiritual eye that the shaykh is right there present with you. Shaun Naqshaban's expression for the tariqah is that the blessing in the gathering. These awliyaullah talk from malakut and the paradise reality. It's not only the 10-20 people that are sitting in physical presence but it's that they train to sit in the spiritual presence. As soon as the association start they see the ruhaniyat of what Allah want them to see and they keep their connection with that world of ruhaniyat. Not from the physical world. The physical world is like a fake fruit. It may look nice but it's plastic and most likely wax, there's no benefit. The real fruit that only Allah come into our life is that from those whom are connecting with paradise realities that through their chaining and through all the disciplines that Allah put them through their Ahlul Basir, their hearts are open. As soon as the associations are taking place they are connected into the paradise reality. The world of light in which they see their shaykhs all in that association, they see the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad in that association and by means of that association they bring a fires, they bring a madad and support, they bring guwa, uh, divinely power into the physical realm. Means they connect with the spiritual realm, they bring the energy into the physical realm by means of that is the barakah, is the cleansing and is the blessing. And that's what Mawlana Shaykh Shah Naqshaban wanted for us is make the connection to the real association. Not the association of the physical world only but the physical world is a means in which to connect with the spiritual realm, to connect with that reality. That realm is hawla wa la quwwata. Allah's support in power and madad is on the spiritual realm. The spiritual ruhaniyat, the atomic reality, it controls the world of pain, not the reverse. Everybody becomes so dunya oriented they think that the physical realm controls the spiritual. But no, it's the reverse, it's the spiritual realm that controls your physical. It's your nucleus that controls the electrons. It's the inner power that controls the outer. If the outer is deficient, something wrong with your inner, your inner reality. If it's not strong enough, it's not able to defend your physicality. So it means then the madad, the contemplation, the whole tariqah is based on finding these Ahlul Basira because they are like a power plant. Depending upon the association and what's needed, Allah begin to release the fires through that connection and through that heart. Our life is to itakullah wa kullu ma sadiqeen. Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties including all your financing needs. 
we are one stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Come meet our award winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 AAA Realty. Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the elements within our cosmos. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and journeys to the Divine's most powerful son of all universes, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. These symbols of guidance lead us on the path to enlightenment and by applying the disciplines of the star, the willing seeker can unlock hidden realities of the soul. It is ultimately through their guiding light that the student transcends life on earth and moves closer to realizing true cosmic awareness. Available worldwide at Amazon.com Our life is to itakullah wa kulu ma sadiqeen. It's all Holy Qur'an and all, all hadith but I can't sit here and try to prove everything for everybody online. Because I can teach an alim in two words. But a crazy person, I'm defeated. Someone who's knowledgeable, you teach them two, three words, they say it's haqq, what you're saying is truthful. But try to debate with a crazy person, you've already lost. So means these, these teachings are not for crazy people. I'm talking about when you really just trying to be square-headed and not understand the world of light. But the world of light, it dominates everything. The Malakut Kulli Shay Allah describing. That my Malakut, my paradise powers, it is all encompassing. If you tap into that power, it changes everything in the physical realm. But people are trying to live a, a physical life, connect to physical beings, and hoping something going to happen and change with their spiritual reality. It's not going to work that way. So it means then the whole tariqah is based on trying to make this spiritual connection. That with these shaykhs, with these guides, that they're Ahlul Basira, the signs are evident upon them that you connect, keep their company. As you're keeping their company, keep your vision upon them. Keep your, your, your gaze upon them that in all your salah and everything that you're doing at the end of your salah sit down and meditate. And Ya Rabbi your words are, Kunu ma sadiqeen and I heard and I obey, I want to keep their company. That I see them not only at the zikr but when I'm sitting at home I want to be in their presence. That I know that you're watching me because your nazar has to be upon me, Allah gave these guides a responsibility that anyone whom is introduced to their eyes, their eyes grab that soul and is responsible for them. Depending upon what circumstance your life is going to come, you're going to need to tap into that energy. And your mama's not going to help you here, your baba's not going to help you here. Allah wants you to be with a living guide. Even He told Sayyidina Yusuf your father Sayyidina Yaqub is a different reality. I want you to be trained under a different, I put you in a child.
you can't say, oh my father is the one who's going to guide me. No, my father says, no, your father has a different reality. For this day and this time Allah may want you under different guidance and tarbiyah. And the fires that coming from this shaykh is not something that you know your pious mother and pious grandfather could help you with. This is something that they went through training and they've been certified in that reality. Make your connection and you receive the fires, the emanation for a power to dress you with, to bless you with or protect you with. It's not worshipping. Allah is the only one to be worshipped. But it's Allah's obeying that ulama saw the king, keep the company of truthful servants. Not only physical because Allah is not concerned about the physical world. Allah's interest is in the ruhaniyat in the spiritual world. So keep with their souls, keep the company of their souls. See them in your spiritual eye and say that, I always want to be with you, dress me from your lights, keep your nazar upon me. Means are you able to keep that link, keep that connection, keep that light to come and then they begin to test you through difficulty. If difficulty comes towards you and you're not calling out for that support, you're not calling out for that help, then that becomes a difficult test. Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works, just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. This way is based on humility. Pharaoh was arrogant. Allah's way is based on humility. So many times people will be given a test in their dreams where they're going to try to defend themselves. As soon as you're tested with a difficulty, Allah Prophet and all the ulul amr are watching. How are you responding in your difficulty? I will go and get it and resolve the issue myself wrong. Because you find that whatever you try to do didn't work. Or some whom have a, a more spiritual being, they actually feel attacks coming to them. 
Those whom are very spiritual they will be fully attacked and actually enter towards the physicality and attack the physicality. And the training is that why you're not making the madad, why you're not making your connection, why you're not making and trying to connect with them. Your mom can't help you here. This is not, this is not a joke, this is not a game. That's what's on this earth right now, it is a tremendous energy needs to be coming through the heart. And these are trained servants for this reality. When you're under attack and under spiritual attack and under difficulty, you should have been learning on how to connect. Don't wait for difficulty to come that when you're learning how to connect that, I want to be with you, send your fires upon me, dress me from your light, dress me from your light. You live in the world of peace like that. Ya Rijalullah that keep your nazar upon me, difficulty coming. So that you feel a support coming, you see the ruhaniyat of the souls that are all around you to protect you. Because Allah is guarding the soul, Allah says, Afan, good job. You learn the way of humility. If Allah doesn't train the servant in that way and the servant is in his tarbiyah raised to think he's self-sufficient, then he's going to say, I don't need anyone. I don't need the prophets. I don't need the angels. I only deal with Allah. Oh, the aqidah of that was shaitan. Shaitan said those words, bow down to Bani Adam. I will never do. But Allah said, then get out of here because your, your belief is arrogant. Allah wants humility. Means whatever power Allah gives to you, appear to people to be weak and nothing. That I'm nothing, Ya Rabbi, I'm Abdul Faqeer, I'm Ajis, I'm nothing, Ya Rabbi. But if Allah wants me to be something, that's up to Allah. So then we took a life of humility, Ya Rabbi, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, keep me in the company of those whom you favour. Whatever you dress them of lights, they dress to me, keep me to be in their association. And that's what Mawlana Shah Naqshban wanted for us, that our way is based on the gathering, keep their gathering 24 hours a day. As much as you can train to see that I'm with them, that I'm at work, I'm with them. that dress me from your lights. I'm praying, I don't know where my prayer is going, I don't know what thought all of a sudden as soon as I say, Allahu Akbar, 10,000 thoughts of bad things coming into my heart that I don't want to pray like that. I want to be with them that they're the Imams that keep me in your association, keep my soul in your association so that when I make my Allahu Akbar that I'm praying with them. And they're praying in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad they're all in Medina praying and Prophet is eternally their Imam. And Prophet is praying and taking all of them to Allah just like the Israhu and Miraj and then everybody had to go to Jerusalem. And Prophet let all the nations and all the Prophets had to pray behind Sayyidina Muhammad so I mean this way is powerful, this way is very real. It's a matter of how much you want to put it into our lives. Train on a good day so that you're prepared for a difficult time and a difficult day inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon, assalamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir Surat al-Fatiha.
welcome to Rumi Rose Garden Cafe. We offer an exclusive line of more than 40 teas, custom blended with ingredients from around the world. Rumi also offers an excellent locally roasted Italian coffee and other hot beverages. Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties, including all your financing needs. We are one-stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity. Create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 AAA Realty.
Ram, Ram. 